Hello, and welcome to uh, Charlene in Quarantine. Oh, I like that. That sounds good. So I'm home. I'm wearing my mask because I'm allergic to acetone and I can't handle the smell. I'm going to show you how to remove your leftover dip nails that all the nail supply places had to close uh, the nail salons and now we're stuck with nails, right? That are grown out and ready to go. So I'm gonna show you. I did this hand already. So you can see the nails are great underneath. When you do dip, it really doesn't, well, it shouldn't affect your nails. They're nice and strong. Tap on there, they're really good. So these ones are already removed and ready to go for a new set. This hand, I'm going to take off. So it's a, a little time consuming, but it's it's not bad. So you start by pushing back your cuticles, any kind of cuticle pusher. You can use an orange wood stick or a metal one. And I'm just gonna push them all back. That just kind of breaks the seal that was put on. And then you're gonna need a strong file, okay? So I guess I should tell you what you need first. A cuticle pusher, a strong file. You're gonna need little pieces of cotton or the squares cut up uh, to remove them. And you're gonna need pieces of foil that will wrap around your nail. And then a wet towel that you're gonna put in the microwave for two minutes. So this is a strong file, it's a high grit. It's a 100-100, so it's a high grit. You need to remove like the first layer, so you're actually removing the shine. I already did these three, so I'm just gonna do these two so we don't take up so much time. So all I do is just bring them down. You get a good amount off that will help because, you know, it takes a while to soak these babies off. So see, it looks like that. And then do this one. Get that all off. Okay, and that's it. So those are ready. The shine's all removed. Now I take the... Uh, remover squares and I cut them into fourth. So it starts like this and I cut it in fours. So then I use two, two in each one. Acetone, pure acetone has to take it off. And I put that in a little dish here um, just cause it's easier cause they're small, but you can take it right out of there. I always do the thumb first cause it takes the longest. So put the wet square on there. You're gonna take the pieces of foil that you already had cut. You put it on the nail over the tip and then wrap around and wrap around. Let's squeeze that nice and tight. See? Okay, and we're just gonna continue doing that to all the nails. Oh, how fun to put the bone on all the foil. Okay, so here's my this guy. I just use regular foil, whatever you have around the house. Nothing special. And just keep going. Now I've seen people do this on their own and they wrap it in a rubber glove or something. I've just never done it like that, so I don't even know how it works. So feel free. Okay, two more. Again, I just take the foil, tip it down, and wrap it up. Sometimes I do one hand at a time. It takes a long time, but it's so awkward doing both hands when one's wrapped. If you have someone to help you, that's great. You can remove gels the same way. Okay, so now I'm going to take my towel. I'm gonna to heat it in the microwave. And 
I am going to wrap it around my nails, okay? Just like that, I'm just gonna make a nice little pocket. And then I'm gonna wait about 12 to 15 minutes. And then I will come back and I will show you how to remove them.